So YouTube added a new channel layout called One Channel. And today I'm going to show you how I change my old channel theme to the new One Channel theme. The biggest difference is instead of a custom background, you get to add a custom header or what they call channel art which is kind of unique. Before you could do this if you're a partner and you could have some clickable links, but now even non-partners can have a custom header with a few clickable links included in the header, mainly for social sites, but you also get one custom URL in there too. So I'm going to show you how we do that. So we're headed back to my old channel, and you can see in the old channel there's the old background. I don't have a custom header because I'm not a partner. I'm going to show you how to switch over to the new channel, or one channel rather. So right at the top, it's warning you that the YouTube one channel layout is now available, so just click there. If you want to read up on one channel, you can, but we're just going to click get the new design. When you do that, it brings you back to your channel, and it's already given it this new look. And it's going to bring up a startup wizard, which you can follow through. For the purpose of this, we're just going to show you how to, the, how to do the channel art, so we're going to close out and you'll see this checklist up on the right. Some of the stuff is already done because my channel is already set up, but some of the new features aren't done yet, like add channel art. So you can click there, or you can click in the center here. The unique thing about the channel art, or the banner, is that the image has to be certain dimensions. They recommend 2,120 pixels by 1,192 pixels, but it gets a lot more intricate with that because the new banner scales based on the browser of the user. So you're going to need a template to make this easy. And I've got one for you. You just go to onlineincomeriver.com backslash one channel. And you can download the template I made there, which will help you when you make your image to make sure it's going to scale up properly. So let's head there. And you're going to just scroll down. You can see a preview of it there, but click the download link. This is Photoshop, by the way, so you need Photoshop. You can just use the picture, too, to go by if you're using another program like GIMP. We're going to open it up, and then open the Photoshop file. Okay, and here we are in Photoshop, and here's the layout. And you can see it's kind of intricate. So I'll walk you through this real quick. Don't worry about the letters. In fact, if you head over here on the right and close out the text, you can get rid of all that, so it clears it up a little bit. But the most important thing is unless you're on the TV, um, the YouTube logo you have, your banner is going to show up across this gray bar in the center. And most importantly, the logo safe zone is what's going to be shown on even the smallest device. So when you make your banner, your logo needs to be included here, and then it needs to be able to, the picture itself should expand out so when a user is on a larger viewing device, they can see the whole image. So if you don't have the guides on here, you can hit control semicolon, and that will take off or put on those guides. Again, you can take the text out so that doesn't complicate things. And then you're going to add a new layer. And then that's a layer on top of all this other stuff. And you can just put your image, whatever you want to do here. So to show you what this is going to look like, I'm not going to add a logo right now. I'm just going to take this exact picture and save it as my channel art so you see what the actual image is going to show up. So we're going to save this. And we're going to go back to our channel. We're going to click Select a Photo. And then as it uploads, so you see it's going to show us some examples of what it's going to look like. So on desktop, it's just going to show us that gray bar, like I said. On the TV, it's going to show us everything that was there. And on the mobile, it's just going to show us that smallest dark gray box, the logo safe zone. So if the image was too big, which it's not because we use the template, you can adjust and crop. But we're going to say select, and then you can see what that's going to look like. So it shows us we're on a medium-sized monitor right now. It shows us the logo safe zone from that image. It's the full 350 pixels tall, the 1280 pixels wide, and it's also showing some of the tablet. So if we take this browser and make it smaller, you'll notice that that image starts to shrink up as well. It's getting smaller and smaller, and then it gets to the point where it doesn't get any smaller than what's in the logo safe zone. So you know if your logo is in the safe zone, it's exactly what it says. It's safe. 
You want to make sure their image has more than that though for when somebody has a larger browser. So let's go back and make an actual logo and you'll see they put in your channel icon on top of this. You got to be thinking about that when you design your logo and your channel art. So we're going to go back to Photoshop. So we're back to Photoshop. You're going to come over here. You can clear out the text if you want to. Uh, we're going to, above the text, add a new layer. And we're going to put, in my case, I'm going to put my logo here. And they're going to do another new layer. Make sure that that's below my logo. And we're just going to fill this. And we're going to go all black. And those, got, those blue lines are just guides. You can hit control semicolon to get rid of those but that's what the image is going to look like and we're going to save that and go back to our channel and since we already have one in here but if we click since we're logged in we click edit and edit channel art click upload photos upload a photo again and we select the photo we just used and that's going to upload and we upload the new photo and again it's going to give us a preview of what it's going to look like on all the devices and we're going to click select and it's going to switch out the logo and there we have our nice custom header if we scroll in we're not going to lose anything because it's within the safe zone. If we scroll out, we've got just black, so it's going to just expand nicely. So there you have it. There's some custom channel art, and we'll make some more videos in terms of adding the links and stuff, but some of that's pretty self-explanatory. I just want to show you that custom art side of things here today. So I hope that helps, and uh, good luck. Look forward to seeing some nice channel art. Remember you can download the one channel template at onlineincomeriver.com backslash one channel. So good luck.